What's up everybody? Welcome to Broke Man Finance, a channel where you're not going to see a million dollar portfolio, a channel where you're not going to be sold on any kind of investment strategy. We are just regular guys with regular jobs trying to make a few bucks in the process. Back in January, I signed up for Robinhood's fractional shares program because I wanted to I wanted the the advantage of of the drip. Checking all that drip out. Rick Flair drip, you're looking at all, but that's right, I'm responsible for drip. Right, that means that if you earn a dividend on that stock or whatever, how many shares you have, it gets automatically reinvested and you buy a, it automatically purchases a fraction of the share, which will also in turn buy you a fraction of that dividend. And it just keeps on compounding. Now I tried M1, I wasn't overly impressed with it. It looks very, very sleek. It's, it looks much more sleek than Robinhood. But what I didn't like is you cannot pick and choose which stocks you wanted to earn that drip. There's some stocks like REITs that I don't want automatically re reinvested right now. I want to put that buying power in whatever stock I choose. So Robinhood allows me to do that. And in typical Robinhood fashion, it took forever, forever. Finally, finally, I got an email saying, Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a chopper. Oh, sweet Jesus. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. What it said was, I was finally signed up for fractional shares and I could start purchasing stocks at a fraction of the actual stock price. So, why are fractional shares so important to somebody with limited funds? Well, first, you can literally take a dollar and buy a piece of Amazon. It's going to be a very small piece of Amazon, but you can still own a piece regardless. Let's think about it like this. You find a share of something that's worth $100. You don't have $100, but you have $10. You can buy $10 worth of that share. If that $100 share goes up 10% and earns $10, your $10 share also goes up 10% and you earn a dollar. Now, if that same share has a dividend attached to it, you earn a percentage of that dividend. And you can, you can reinvest it if you want to and keep earning fractional shares of both and earning money. If you look at Amazon right now, Amazon is like, geez, last time I looked, it was over $2,000 per share, like $2,300, $2,200. Most people, if you're, if you're a regular person, most people don't have the money just to go purchase a full share of Amazon. They don't have the money to go buy a full share of Google, class A or C, because they're so expensive. They're over $1,000. Now, if you look at other stocks, such as Apple, they're right now Apple's trading for about $300. To me, that's still expensive, overvalued, but it's, it's expensive. And a lot of people don't feel comfortable just putting $300 into one stock. Now, you could always take that money and put it into an ETF or something that tracks an index fund, but... There's a, there's a lot of risk involved. So what a lot of people tend to do is because the stock market right now is so volatile, they'll take that $100 or whatever they have to spend that week and they will spread it across their entire portfolio. They may put $5 here, $10 here, $3 here, $5 there. And that way it mitigates a little bit of that risk of just buying one share in such a crazy market right now. So it's Friday, I got about 150 bucks that I can put into my Robinhood portfolio. So today I'm gonna to show you how that those fractional shares actually work, how I'm gonna split mine up for today. Now I may not, I'm not gonna bore you with looking through all the balance sheets and kind of what I think is a good deal today. I'm just gonna kind of show you a few of the stocks and what it looks like to, to purchase fractional shares and why I think that Robinhood is, as slow as they are to roll stuff out, once they do roll things out, it tends to work for people like myself. All right, so I've thrown 150 bucks into my portfolio, into my buying power, and just not to bore you to death, I'm gonna probably cut some of these out so you don't see me buying every single share because that would be boring as hell. But I'm gonna start out with VOO, VU. It's probably one of my, if not my favorite ETF. I'm gonna buy $25 worth right at almost a tenth of the share. It also gives me a tenth of that dividend. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that now. Pink. All right. Done with that. Moving on. I'm going to go to SPHD. That's the Power Shares S&P 500. It's a high dividend, low volatility ETF. 
Again, another $25. That one also pays monthly dividends. <clears throat> so I'm gonna jump ahead real quick and not, sh not show you every all my ETFs that I'm throwing in there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move forward. Let's go to some of my individual stocks. Microsoft, probably one of the best companies out there. Um, you see the amount of buying power I have left. I'm gonna throw five bucks at Microsoft. Five whole dollars. All right, done with that. Moving on. Next, we're gonna look at, at one of my bigger holdings and one of my bigger dividend payers is AbV, another dividend aristocrat. A great company in my opinion. Um, they're, I think they're really undervalued right now, but we're gonna review that order and boom, bought. Moving on. Let's check out Apple. At one time, I actually had a pretty good bit of Apple stock for someone like me. I had around 10 shares, but I, I sold it, made a little money. Now I'm slowly but surely buying back in. I really don't want to spend five dollars on this because I think it's overvalued at three hundred and six dollars. But I'm, I'm just going to put five bucks in there and and buy five dollars worth of that share at the time. All right, we're going to keep on jumping forward. All right, now for somewhere like Lowe's, I'm starting to lose a little bit of buying power. As you can see, I've jumped ahead three bucks. Buy. I just bought three dollars worth of Lowe's. Three whole dollars. It's like a bag of bag of chips and a drink. Next, let's see where we're going to go. Johnson & Johnson, a huge dividend earner, right? It's been an aristocrat for a long time. Let's put in, I don't know, a dollar fifty. I just bought a whole dollar, $1.50 of Johnson & Johnson, but I did buy that much of the dividend. All right, guys, that's it. I appreciate you watching the video. My name is Adam Wilson. As always, please like the video, subscribe, and leave whatever negative or positive comments you want in the bottom. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a regular dude trying to give a little bit of advice on mistakes that I've made. Look forward to seeing you soon.